Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Melanie here at Vision City. I am so excited to have you here today because we're gonna do a tutorial style video where I'm actually going to build my own portfolio website for my graphic design and illustration work. And today's video is sponsored by Wix. Wix is a professional website builder with over 500 customizable templates using their drag and drop editor. They have dozens of templates for portfolio websites so I have lots to choose from. You can find out more about Wix by clicking the link below, and that way you can go ahead and create your own portfolio website. This website's been a long time coming for me, and I had a real vision of what I wanted for it. I just wanted a place where my clients could find me online, where they can actually see all my work in a clean and organized, modern format. So I know that Wix is going to be providing that for me. So again, I encourage you to click the link below to find out more. Guys, let's go ahead now. I'm gonna share my screen with you and you're gonna be able to follow me along as I click through and actually build this website. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do first is sign in to Wix, and obviously I've already created my own um, login account. So what you do is go to wix.com and sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, okay? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and log in. So the first thing it's asking me is, what kind of website should this be? So for me, it's going to be portfolio and CV. I'll click on that one. Let Wix ADI create a website for you or create your website with the editor. I wanna create my own website with the editor, so I'll click on that. And now I get to choose which actual uh, template I like. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options. Um, designer, acting resume, motivational speaker, artist. Um, there's a whole bunch of really nice ones. I was kind of peeking in on these the other day just to kind of get an idea of what I would choose um, and actually the one I kind of liked was, believe it or not, it was actually a textile website. Well, it's a portfolio website for textile designers. So even though I'm not a textile designer, I'm a graphic designer, um, this is still a great option for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one to edit. All right. So here we are. It's taking me into the back end where I can actually begin editing um, this template. And so this is kind of cool. I love how the images on this one are really big and it's a lot less about the text, it's more about the images, which is what I want. So I just clicked on add and I clicked on image. I'm gonna go ahead and try and add my logo here. I'm gonna click on upload from computer. Okay, great, got my logo in there. I'm just gonna click on enter and hopefully that will populate in there. Okay, great, there we go. Oh my, okay, that's gigantic. <laughs> Not what I wanted, but I guess I could just pull on it and shrink it nice and small. Yeah, I wanted that up here, perfect. Okay, I'm not sure how to get rid of this one, but I'll work on that in a minute. So let's go over here to navigation, and I'm gonna actually change up some of the words there. So instead of just saying portfolio, I want it to say logos, and then I want to add a page. I want that one to say music covers, and I wanna add another page. I want this page to say book covers. Okay, about, I don't need a shop on this website, so I'm gonna delete that page. Getting a bit of a warning sign there, it's okay. And I want, I don't really have a press section that I need right now, so I'm just gonna delete that page as well. Okay, delete. So I just wanted to say uh, logos, music covers, book covers, about, and contact. That's really all I need right now. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna delete that vector art up there. Oh, here we go, delete, bye-bye. <laughs> That is not my logo, I don't really want it there. Okay, so here I wanna change these words. I'll say graphic design and illustration. Um, I don't really know what I wanna say here. Um, you know what, I don't really want this. I don't really want this text box. I, although it looks really nice on this website, I don't really think I need it. Can I delete it? Oh, okay. I guess you just hit delete and that's how you do it. So. I just realized I should probably add a home uh, button to my navigation so people can come back to the home if they want to. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say home, okay? And that's gonna be like obviously at the top, home. So the home page, it looks like it's made it really clear for me, which is kind of cool. So I can kind of put anything in here, which is nice. So if I wanna add an image, pop an image in here, image, upload media. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of my work. I'll do that quickly here and I'll fast forward this section of the video so it's not too slow for you guys. OK, 
Okay, so I've loaded in a few of my music covers that I've done. So I'm going to select on one and add to page. So it looks like I can just kind of drag it around to wherever I want it, which is kind of cool. So I just want to basically create like a collage, I guess, on this page and um, just bring in different elements of things that I've designed that people can then click on and then go on to other parts of the website. So if I want to add something else, okay, I can go ahead and find something. So let's click on that cover, bring that in. Now I want some of them to be large and some small. I want to kind of create like a grid. I kind of like the example of the, te the text tile uh, website that I liked so much. And let's say I want to bring in something else. All right, bring in a logo. Okay, so I'm going to bring that in now. And I think I'm going to put that down here. I like how I can kind of have control over what's going where and how much space and things. So I'm going to leave that as my homepage for now. Obviously, I'm going to add more, but let's go into another part of my navigation. Let's go to logos. And I basically want to fill this page with, with logos. Oh, I see. So let's click on this or logos. Okay, great. Awesome. So now what I want to do is I actually want to pop in a bunch of my logo designs here. So if I want to edit this, manage media. So I can actually add media this way. Let's see how that would work. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. And then say done. And I'm hoping it'll populate in there for me. Or will it be on the bottom? Oh, okay. So I see what I need to do. I need to basically just take those out and uh, edit these. Okay, manage, manage media. Let's go back into that. So I'm actually going to delete all these. Delete, delete, delete. These are all like the images that were brought in as part of the template, but obviously those are not my work. So I'm going to just basically get rid of them. So I'm gonna bring in my own designs. So I've brought in one more. I think there's probably a faster way of doing this. So what I'm going to do is actually um, go to uh, upload media. I'm actually just going to go ahead and open up my um, my actual folder with all my logos in it and see if I can just drag a whole bunch of them in at one time. All right, so what I've done now is I've just brought in a bunch of my logos, as you can see, and now I'm going to see if I can kind of select multiples and actually bring them in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so add to that page. Now I'm going to go ahead and add to my page. Okay, oh, it looks like they already brought them in, which is cool. Okay, so I've brought in a bunch of different logo designs here, and they look like they're nice and large. I actually kind of love how they're really large. This way people can actually see the logos. On my previous website, the logos were viewed very small, so this is actually kind of cool. And I can also go ahead and check out how it'll look on, um, on mobile. So I'm going to click on that and see how it'll look on mobile. Okay, it's just loading in. Oh, cool. See, I like that. Really simple, just my logo up top and people can just scroll down and see my logo designs. And then I think what I might do eventually is also have it clickable. So if I click on each one, then you can kind of go in and find out more about that project. That's kind of what I would like to do. So now I'm going to go to my next section and start to load in some music covers. So let's go to that section really quick. So if I go over here, click on navigation, let's go to music covers. Okay, looks like I need to load in some images here, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Let's go to add again, and I'm going to add in a bunch of my images that should be still in here. So let's go ahead and add all these covers. I'll add four for now. Oh, wow. Okay, so these ones came in a little bit differently, but that's okay. I'm going to basically do the similar look, nice and big, 
And um, I just want it to be like two, two, uh, I guess, columns. Okay, and I'm just gonna, I can actually manually just change the sizing. And it looks like these guides kind of pop, pop up while I'm moving things around, which is helpful. So I'm glad that they have these guides in here. Um, and I'm gonna move these up, these two guys up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so there you go. Now we've got some music covers on my music cover page. Very exciting. I am very excited about this, guys. Again, like I've said, I've been trying to really grow my service design side of my business. So this is actually a really good timing, all right? And let's go now over to book covers. So if I click on that, let's go to here, navigate, book covers. And this is like the first time I've ever used this. And I'm, I'm really thankful that it's, it's fairly intuitive, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go here and add in some book cover designs up to upload media, upload from computer. All right, and just a little tip guys as well, if you're like me and you're gonna be loading a lot of images into your website, make sure you shrink the images down. You never wanna have like really large JPEGs. All my images are definitely under one meg, so just for a faster loading, and I find people aren't gonna hang out on the website very long if, if the images are too large, so just another side note to that. <laughs> make sure you shrink down your images. You can always compress them. There's lots of different ways to do that. All right, so here's one of my book covers. Again, I like what I'm, I'm so like happy about with this website right now is that everything is so big. I like how it's making or giving me the option on how large I wanna make things. Um, my last website did not do that and it was something I really like about other designers' websites that I've seen. So this is really exciting. So here we go. I got two book covers on here. Um, and this is saving automatically as I go along, which is really nice. Okay, and I'm gonna go to my about section and just put in maybe a picture of myself, one or two lines about what I do, and hopefully people will start hiring me. <laughs> okay, let's go to the about section. All right, about. I think I might put my name here, I guess. I'm not a fabric and pattern designer. I am a graphic designer, but whatever works. Oh my gosh, too big. <laughs> I don't want it all in caps. I don't want to be yelling at people. All right. Okay. I like this. I am a paragraph. Click here to add your own text. Okay. Education, okay, so I can fill in different things here. Great, let's do that. Let's fill in education. Side note, all of my favorite designers never went to school. So <laughs> I wonder if I would have been a bit better if I didn't do school, I'm kidding. Stay in school, kids. All right, collaborations. I'm not really gonna put this area here because it's not really what I need right now. So I'm just gonna delete that. Um, Again, don't need that part. I can just press delete. Contact for details. Um, yeah, I have a contact page, so I don't know if I need that either. Clients. Um, I don't think I'm going to put that on right now. I think I might add that later, but for now, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure if I need that. So I'm going to take that off. Okay, so change image. So I'm going to put in an image of myself here. I'll go grab one on with my computer. All right, so I found a picture of myself. I'm going to put this on. There we go. All right, I've got the photo there. I'm going to say add. And wow, that is a really big close-up photo. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, how about I like bring that down a lot? And um, yeah, that's just way too big. I wonder if I can change the actual shape. Oh, crop. Okay. I just want to change the crop of it. There we go. I just want like a little square picture, you know? Nothing too crazy. Awesome. So there's my pick. And I think that'll work. I think I want to maybe move this over here. Yeah, just something really, really minimalist and simple like that. That's totally fine. 
Okay, and now let's go to contact and let's click on navigate and go to contact. Okay, great. Let's collaborate. Don't hesitate to get in touch. I actually like that language. That's nice. All right, I'm going to put in my um, email address here. All right, so now I've got my address in there and now people can actually contact me through here. Um, I like all the stuff that's already in this part of the template, name, email, phone, message. That way people can actually message me. Um, thanks for submitting, that's fine. Stockists, okay, no, I don't really need this. I, mean, I just have no need for that, so I'm just gonna delete those areas. And these images are very cool, but they probably shouldn't be there. Let's see what else I got. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and find another image that might be a bit more relative to what I'm doing. So find on computer. All right, I'm gonna add something kind of fun here. Why not? Just to kind of add some personality. I'm gonna get rid of this. Now I'm gonna go down here to the bottom. I'm actually going to connect my socials. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the edit link. So I'm gonna just edit it right here. Save. I don't have these, so I'm just gonna delete these. Sorry, Facebook lovers, but no. And Twitter, not on Twitter, awesome. <laughs> All right, and Pinterest I'm gonna link as well. I'm gonna edit that to my Pinterest account. Okay, I think we're getting there, guys. This is actually really fun. I love this submit for a um, email list. Um, I'm sure I could connect that to my active campaign. So I think I'm kind of done. This actually was a um, fairly smooth process, which I'm happy about. And uh, I hope you guys have learned some things as you've gone along with me. I'm sure there's a ton more that I could do, but technically this is pretty good. This is really all I needed at this time. So I think that's basically it. I'm gonna see if I can actually do a bit of a test here. I'm not ready to publish yet, guys, but I definitely wanna at least see it in action. People come to my website, they're gonna see a bunch of artwork. I'm gonna add more as well. Then they click to logos, bam. I really like how large the logo um, designs are. Oh, I see. Okay, so I need to actually change these so that when you scroll over it, it should just say the name of the actual design. So I'm gonna do that. These are all my actual file names, so that, that's that gotta be fixed. But I like how this is looking though overall. I like how large it all is. I might shrink them a little bit, but for now I like it. Music art, let's see how music covers. Yeah, so I might make my logo designs this size because I kind of like this size uh, in dimensions. Go to book covers and I've got my book covers there. Again, I think I'm gonna to add to this page a bit more as well. You can scroll down here. I've got my Instagram, my Pinterest linked, which is nice. I like how everything's really black and white as far as the actual structure of this website. It works well with my branding because my branding is all black and white, so that works for me. And I go to about section. Again, it's got a little blurb by me and my education. All right, the collaboration, let's get in touch kind of um, page is working well. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the editor and I think that I'm pretty much done. Um, that actually wasn't too difficult. I'll be adding to this as I go along, but this is a great, great start. All right, guys, there you have it. I've got a brand new website on Wix for my portfolio. I'm so excited to launch it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, I wanna thank Wix for sponsoring this video, and if you have not already checked it out, I encourage you to check the link beneath this video where you can actually go ahead and sign up for Wix and choose your own template and build your own beautiful portfolio website. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.